Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today I have part one of the cardigan knitting on my LK150 knitting machine. I'm going to start doing more cardigan and vest knitting because it seems easier than traditional jumper or sweater and it's more flexible in the neckline and the construction. In this video, we are going to knit up most of the pieces of this cardigan. And in the part two, we'll need the front panel and the sew up all the pieces. Here's my design. For the sleeve and shoulder, it's basically one piece. We have a triangle shape. And for the back, it will just be extension of the triangle piece. So we have left and right and front and back, totally four pieces on the top. And for the button, we have two smaller rectangle. And for the back side, we have a bigger rectangle. And what we left is a front panel. You can knit it continuously for a very long piece, or you can knit uh, two pieces left and right, and uh, sew them up at the back of the neck. And I put some dimensions for reference. This is about the adult median. And of course you can adjust the dimension. In my tutorial, I just give you the ideas and uh, the technique, and then you can modify based on your size, your yarn, and your swatch sample. For the yarn, I'm using DK weight yarn. I'm planning to use three balls of 100 gram yarns and uh, each ball is about 290 yards. I have tension set to number eight. First, we are going to do the shoulder sleeve piece that's with a triangle shape. And I'm going to start with mark ribbon. So when we are done, we don't have to do separate ribbon. First, we want to cast on about 30 stitches and I have it from left 15 to right 16 with every other needle. And I need 10 rows And take off the cast on comb and hand the first row back to the empty needles. And knit one row. So that completes our mark ribbon. And we will start to do the increase to make the triangle shape. For the increase, I use the three prong tool. So it's a full fashioned increase. The increase part will not be at the edge. And I'm alternating between one row and two rows. So first increase, I will need one row plan. And then I do the increase again. I will need two rows. So I will keep repeating one row and two rows to create a triangle shape. And I will finish it when I hit 30s stitch. So that's about double it because I start from the 15 and when I hit around 30, I can stop. And after that, I will just knit straight. And for the front piece, I will knit 35 rows and then bind off. 
For the back piece, it will be longer, so I need 45 rows and bind off. So we will knit it the same way. We'll have two front pieces and two back pieces. That's our top of the cardigan. For the bottom side, we will have a narrow rectangle. So I calculate the stitches to match the top front piece, and I will need 30 stitches total. So similar to before, we will start with the mark ribbon and knit from bottom up. So for this rectangle, I cast down the same way, start from left 15 to right 16 every other needle. And I want a longer ribbon, so I need 20 rows. And fold it up and hand the first row to the empty needles. So the mark ribbon is about 10 rows after it's done. And after that, you will be just a straight, plain knitting. I need 55 rows and then bind off. And then I repeat it again the same way. So I have two front pieces done. For the back piece, it's very similar, except it's bigger. After my calculation, I will need about 80 stitches. I will cast on from left 40 to the right 41 with every other stitch. And uh, need 20 rows for the mark ribbon, and then hand the first row back to the empty needles. And knit one row. And after that, we will knit 50 rows of the plain stockinette stitch, just like uh, before. And after the 55 rows, we just bind off. So the only piece left is the front center panel of the cardigan. And we'll do that in part two. And we'll also sew all the pieces together in the next video. And I like to do the cardigans because we don't have to worry about the neck shaping too much. It is more flexible in the construction and design. And the size is also more flexible. So thank you for watching this video. I will post the part two in about one week. Hope you enjoy this project and a happy knitting.